What up, Internet? I'm Young Guru, and welcome back to Metroid Prime. In the last episode, we went down to Magmor and Fendrana, got us the Wave Beam and the Boost Ball. And now, we are off to get the Ice Beam. A very important weapon to help us uh, avoid a significant amount of backtracking. This will also demonstrate a fairly... I don't want to say complicated, but bizarre sequence break maneuver. I'll uh, go right down here through the steam, craftily blinding me to these zoomers. Or shriek bats, not zoomers. Up. Oh, no, no. Mm. And if... Oh, oh no. Oh, I got it. So close. Uh, and right now, we... We're at the foot of an elevator that is taking us out of uh, Magmor and up into the Chozo Ruins. So technically, if I was going for... Are there two doors here? Yep, three doors. This is just outside of where we fought uh, Flagra. If I was going for a true speed run, I would have taken one of these paths, probably this one, to leave before going down to Bangmore and left the other one for this trip. But I wanted the items because I am greedy like that. Bloop. Uh, <coughs> so if you're going for, for pure speed, uh, it's important to know which areas you are forced to pass by again, or at least more than likely to see a second time. I think, yeah. Here is our chamber with a missile through here over the beetles. Sorry, Ringo. Out here, hook a left. Uh, now that we have the boost ball, we could normally get this uh, <coughs> missile expansion in that half pipe. But we got it with the double jump, so it's been gotten. Uh, but this is the time that you would be coming back to get the space jump. We still can't use that because we don't have the spider ball ability. Uh, which is actually an ability we're supposed to have, and we have we could have gone to an area to get it, but we just don't care. Uh, I'm trying to think if it... I think getting it... No, I take that back. No, you had to do a large amount of backtracking to get uh, the spider ball that we we're hoping to avoid. Uh, we're basically going to bypass it until we can get to the kind of reverse entrance to the area with the spider ball. So we have to get many items that expect you to have the spider ball without of the spider ball. So. This should look somewhat familiar. Oh boy. came back here. This is where we got the bombs. And over here there was an energy tank. And there is a spider track. Uh, so let's do the sequence break. You run. You walk up to it. And if you're f centered on it it should start to vibrate a bit. There we go. Look a little bit to the left. Probably like there. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. You can see I'm kind of hitching a bit. Got to look a little more left. Oh, I overdid. I was at the top. Basically, I'm, I'm grabbing a, like, false platform. And by looking to the left, it, uh, 
I don't, I don't know what the left, looking to the left does, but it does a thing. And there you have it. We are up here. Oh. I made a mistake. If you boost ball there, you hit a wall and pop a bit, and it screws up your, your bomb. You can also triple bomb jump up to here, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, this maneuver is removed from the European release and uh, the Wii version and the gr oh the greatest hits version I, I can't explain what aspect of the gaming code causes this to happen I have no clue Ah, but somehow it's putting these little uh, platforms here that we can uh, stand on. Oh, come on. Boost. Oh, don't tell me I'm unable to access. I want to hear none of that. Uh, what is going on? I did so well the first time. I'm thinking that maybe once we get the spider ball, you'll see how these paths actually work. I'm thinking maybe the way the spider ball works is by stacking platforms underneath it somehow. This is super frustrating because it worked so well the first time. And now I'm over jumping and doing everything wrong. Not if I, okay. This, oh, that was new. I did not know you could just hold down the B button to climb. B being the jump button. Come on, come on! You, ah, oh, what is going on here? You worked so well, and now you're just you're just teasing me. Game. There we go. Okay, let's not screw this up this time. As far as glitches goes, it's not the hardest to pull off. Uh, here's an ice beam door. Cannot get through. But before we leave, we'll get some Chozo lore. The cries of this dying land pulled us from our dreaming state. And now we Chozo walk as ghosts, while the great poison sinks into the trees and waters, devouring all life. Some creatures survive, but their forms grow as twisted and evil as the force that fell from the sky. The heart of the planet will succumb soon, and so will we, even in our ghostly states. Already, many Chozo have faded and passed into the unknown. The great poison is unlike anything we have glimpsed in this or any dimension. It eats relentlessly. Worming out life wherever it blooms and corrupting what it cannot kill. It will be our undoing. Our last hope lies in the cradle, the temple we hope might contain this abomination. It is almost complete, hovering over the impact site, the dark heart of the spreading evil. If we can finish before the last of us, the last of our kind drifts into madness or death. There is a chance for this world. If we fail, we are doomed with it. That's a bit dire. Very, very dire. Boom. Pop up here. 
So even if you can do that maneuver early, er, you get blocked off by a wave beam door. And here we see our first, I guess our second use for the boost ball. And, up, and there we go. Three new lore. A second plague has come upon the land, dousing the last flickering hopes of our race. Drawn by the very force we chose a hope to contain, a host of marauding creatures descended from space and invaded our temple, the Cradle. They try in vain to destroy it, but its powers remain beyond them for now. They possess some of the twelve artifacts we call the Cipher, yet do not comprehend their function. Ignorant creatures, they are bind blinded by delusions of harnessing the great poison for their own designs. They walk about as masters of the planet, assimilating the ruins of our sanctuary into their experiments. We can but watch and wait for our doom. Whoop. Here we get another one. The hatchling walks among us. Are these dreams? Memories? Foretellings? Time and reality swirl together like estuary waters. And we Chozo know not what to believe. She appears as ghost-like as the Chozo, but at times the mists clear. We see her wounded eyes and remember the child we found so long ago. What has she become, this newborn? Clad in Chozo armor, wielding weapons our hands once held, does she dream of the Chozo as we once were? Does she long for her parents? lost to the same creatures that even now defile our sacred home. Does she still live? I do. I do still live. The prophecies tell of the coming of the worm, born from parasites, nurtured in a poisoned womb. The worm grows, devouring from within. Oh, come on, controller. The worm grows, devouring from within until the world begins to rot. The words of the seers have come to pass, for there, in the depths of the world, the ravenous worm lurks and feeds. From the stars it came, blighting talon with its great poison. We can but watch as the worm grows, watch and wait, for the prophecies also speak of a great defender. Whoop. Overly aggressive with the a button for the prophecies also speak of a great defender the one who delivers the world from evil the final days draw near is the newborn the defender of which the seers spoke we shall do all that we can to aid her for she bears our legacy as she bears the ancient armor and weapons of our people uh, another cordite a statue cannot be opened yet Missile door. Throw this away. Only the holder of the twelve shall face the worm. Fill up on energy. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. The great poison corrupts all, even the Chozo. Shouldn't one of these tell me I'm entering the Hall of the Elders? Yeah, maybe not. Let's get ourselves a research item real quick. Already got pretty much full missiles. New research missile station. But let's fill up. Missiles replenished. Whoop! New enemy. Chozo Elder statue. Whoop! Uh, ghost like Chozo. New creature. Chozo Ghost. Spectral entity. Bioelectric field invulnerable to natural energies. Luckily. Oh, no. Oh, God. Let's get the right gun out. Once we get the X-ray scope, they no longer can fade in and out. 
And the only weapons that work are super missiles, which we don't have. I think regular missiles. And the power beam. It's still going. Come on, where'd you go? Boom, and defeated. Oh, glowing hands. Let's get that energy. There we go. The Hall of the Elders. There is a artifact in here, judging by the hints we were given earlier. More and more, our tormented minds turn to the newborn as the world continues to shift into brutal disconnected images, she remains inarguably real, a fearless figure delving deeper into this blighted world, unmindful of the terrors that await her. Was she this way before? When we Chozo found her, a fledgling orphaned on a savage planet, did a warrior's pulse already beat in her veins, filling her with righteous fury. Our hopes lie with her. We leave these messages for her, that she may find our artifacts and deliver the world from its evils. Wraiths we may be, but our reach is still long indeed. We shall fight the invaders in the poison they would master until the end. And ho ho! 50% of logbook scans. Very nice. Let's see. This is not going to work because we don't have the spider ball. But this is how you're supposed to advance the game. Boom. And you could latch on with your spider ball, but we must go about this a different way. Also, are you different? The Elder's greatest power lies beyond the second lock. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like the third lock is the one with the artifact. I know that for to be true. Okay, so we have to get up there. And so we jump, L lock jump to do that. And I think we want to jump and jump. That's kind of, this is a funny space. So you can jump up there at full height. But once I pop out of this spot, I cannot stand back up. This is kind of peculiar. Up, 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 pop. Yeah, pow. We pop that open. Hop in here. Hit of that. And so, with each um, beam. We can unlock a different path to take. One has like a energy or missile unlock. The other has an artifact. And this one leads us up to continue on our way. Luckily, if we don't miss this scannable totem. We don't have to do that ever again. We can just jump up from here. And now we approach the ice beam. Boom. Drainage shutoff is holding. Not for long. Whee! Go away. Oh, you're all just gonna be greedy. Oh, oh, oh. Scan the ice beam.
ice beam acquired. And it's kind of hard to see. The beam kind of obscures it, but it the hand configuration for the ice beam is a rock fist. When you want to rock out. Boom, boom, boom. Save room that we don't need to use. Because we are strong. We're doing well. Pop. Whoops. Scan this. This is going to get us to the Talon Overworld. Very close to the downed pirate frigate. The one we were on earlier. We're not going to actually go into it, though. Because we are lacking key equipment. Click. Hop over, drop into the morph ball up here. Ice beam. Uh, I think a well placed ice beam shot should do the trick. Uh, not completely. More missile expansions. No, that actually didn't take any damage from us. New creature, flying pirate, missile launch. So I think they take five missiles normally, but if we freeze them, it's one to burst them. And then over there, we can see two more pirates fighting over I don't know what. And now they're going to fly away. I don't know if there's any need to catch them before they fly away. Don't know what that does. The crate appears to be the same type of container found on the Space Pirate Research Frigate. The material seeping out from the ruptured metal is highly toxic. Analysis indicates that this may be the Phazon compound the Space Pirates were using in their biological experiments. And there is the spaceship. Crashed to the ground. Shazam! Through here. Down under. Oop. So the ice beam's pretty good, but it shoots a little slow. Uh, so it creates a challenge in leading enemies the correct way. And we're back to our own ship. Very nice. We'll recharge our missiles. Though I think we were near full capacity. Not going to save. And from here, we're going to go back into Vendrana. Look at that shot. I'm proud of myself. Ooh, by way of Magmore. Uh, over here. Oh, oh. Stupid blast caps. In Magmore, we're going to get the thermal visor. The super missiles. And, uh... Stop you. Um, probably... The gravity suit. And by probably, I mean absolutely definitely. I don't know if we'll do all that in this episode. Probably at least... I don't know how far we're going to get, actually. Hopefully at least to the power, or the super missiles. If not further... Uh, we still can't go left. That does require the spider ball. Though eventually we'll be getting to the room on the other side of it. Uh, once we leave Fendrana. Oh. 
those things have quite a downward push. And we are going to jump. Ah. Break these open. Out of the lava. Still no power bombs. And run. Oh, wow. Oh, this might have been a huge mistake. sight. Oh, 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 barely. Alright. That was not the wisest thing I've ever done. Luckily, there is a save room right inside of Fendrana that we can use to restore our health. Now that I think about it, uh, we'll probably skip that because I don't think there are any enemies before a slightly further down the road save station. Let's stick to the corners to avoid the Shigoth babies. Sooner or later, we will see a mother Shigoth again. Probably a different mother Shigoth, I would assume. But like some other enemies, she becomes a standard kind of, I don't know, room defender enemy. Uh, I'm not sure what the correct term for that would be. Up here. And now we're going to go through here. Whoa! Shots being fired. And here we go. Later on, we could use the spider ball to bypass what we're doing right now. those open. So from the benefit we're going to get here, normally you would go along this path with the wave beam and get pretty deep into this area of the game and run up against an ice beam door. So this allows us to avoid having to get that far into the level and turning around. Because who wants to do that? I think the answer is nobody. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. There we go. Pop. Oh, there we go. Energy tank. I'm down the chutes. Alright, here we go. Jump, jump. If you L jump, you can get up to this platform. If you don't L jump, uh, the water keeps you from getting high enough to get up onto those platforms. So that kind of demos 
on faith, I guess. <laughs> the L jump uh, actually gives you a little bit of extra height. Did not get knocked off of the ledge. Always a concern. Uh, over here we should have... Oh, come on, make it. A save station. Which you don't really need to use. Uh, schematics for Research Lab Hydra are blocked by purple doors. Glacier 1 zone is prohibited access. Whoop. And so now that door is blocked. We can't get into it yet. So we'll go uh, this way. Uh, we are now getting to the point that... Uh, can I disable this turret? I think I can. There we go. Ah, uh, new, new space pirate enemy. Nope, nope. New creature, shadow pirate. He's just got a whale on me. Get off of me. A charged wave beam shot stuns them, and we can stun lock them with that, which is quite nice. Uh, as I was saying, now that we're entering into the pirate research lab area of Fendrana, uh, save rooms and map rooms and all that will have panels indicating. Uh, various security measures and things happening for the space pirates. I think one more shot. Look at this. If you electric shot these things, they kind of go haywire. Start firing missiles everywhere. And this a little son of a bee. Setting off alarms. Uh, we got some nice waist high walls for defending yourself against all known first person shooters as well as third person action games oh wow they are all coming out the woodwork on me none of them are holding back you people are terrible you're supposed to come at me one at a time Just, come on don't run away from me So you don't have enough... Oh, I missed on that one. You don't have enough time to get a full charge between when they're stunned and when they get back up. But a 50% charge will stun them. You can see the charge building up on the right side of the reticle. Let's go in here, get ourselves a map. Alright, let's zoom out. So this is a big area. Looks like there might be a beast hidden there, and that's behind that locked door that we couldn't get through. Here is where we enter Fendrana. Ah, and I can demo this. Right up here, that was the locked door. So you circle around, and then you can get into here. Ah, boom, boom. Ah, that's where we got the wave beam, where we got the boost ball and we are going to head all the way into this research facility i think yeah here we're gonna go over to this big old dome and then back up these elevators uh, back down that elevator into here and that is a good bulk of fendrana phase on ore is extremely durable and blast resistance Although the armor-like qualities of the shell provide ample protection, thermal imaging can be used to detect weak areas in the casing. Uh, basically saying that use thermal vision to find the weakness. Yeah, 
These are all describing Project Titan specimen, a strong Phazon creature that is in the East Quarantine Cave. And oh, oh, I should have scanned one of those space pirates. I don't think I have a space pirate yet. I'll have ample opportunity to grab them. Pop. Oh, too slow. I actually think, come on, door. Should be able to get. Oh, it's not going to let me scan through here. Okay, let's open that force field up. Space pirate. Okay, those two are dead. I think I'm going to shoot to fast missile launching. You can only do the missile override maneuver uh, when you're using the power beam. So that's kind of a shame. Four shots. Shoot the containers around him. That sets him off. Oh, we missed on that one. And we got a. Come on. Lock on to the turret. Like any good video game, if the music doesn't stop, the fight is still ongoing. Let's get back down, do some researching. Specimen euthanized after psychotic episode. So down in this area, we're in their research labs. We're going to get a lot of pirate data. Ice beetle infestation in Ice Vault region has been 95% exterminated. Research Lab Aether limited to Team Sclera only. Increase acidity levels recorded in Phazon Amniotic Bath. This is likely a side effect of Phazon ingestion by test subjects. Upper stasis tanks online, Phazon drip line secure. Let's get some pirate data. Log 10.712.1 most terraforming and retrofitting of security checkpoints on Talon 4 is complete, but we continue to research the alarming epidemic of breaches by local creatures. Door records show no unauthorized entries, so we must presume the creatures are either slipping in undetected during daily personnel moves, or else finding their way in through subterranean tunnels. We have found many small breaches of this latter sort, and plug them wherever we can but it is unlikely that we will ever achieve full extermination within our current timetable. Two more pirate data. Oop, log 10.344.8. We have codified the newfound energy source as Phazon, a V-index mutagen of which we have very little reliable data. Indications point to a meteor of unknown origin impacting approximately 20 years ago, expelling Phazon into the environment. This material appears to possess lifelike characteristics. Mutating organic life forms strong enough to withstand its poison, these mutations appear promising with abrupt evolutionary leaps appearing in single generation reproduction. Plans to establish a full science team on Talon 4 are being finalized. New data log. Log 10.587.7. 
Mining operations have begun near the crater where Phazon appears to be most concentrated. Daily Phazon yields have increased 44%, and our mining system becomes more streamlined as personnel and equipment flows increase. Several incidents of Phazon-induced madness have been reported, prompting augmented life support regulations in the deeper chambers. Symptoms include loss of equilibrium, erratic respiration, muscle spasms, and in the most extreme cases, hallucinations. A timeline reassessment for the refinery operations is recommended as the material proves more unstable than initial analysis indicated. Let's find some more research up above. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. That's farther up. Circle around. Oh. Mutation strain, strain 776V shows a massive absorption of capacity and flux. Uh, that looks like a Metroid, if I ever saw one. What do we got here? Non-essential scans, specimens to lab hydra complete. All empty stasis tanks must be completed before specimen badge Y arrives. Yeah, you're just normal. Let's get a pirate data. Log 10.664.2. Research outpost Glacier 1 in the Fendrana Drifts region of Talon 4's mountains is operating at 85% capacity. Sub-zero temperatures have made the Metroid sluggish and easy to control. Even those well into phazon infusion cycles. Cold containment stasis tanks are sufficient for the juveniles, but some of the larger Metroids have been moved to quarantine caves for safety purposes. Security doors remain an issue, as malfunctions due to ice occur every day. Large predators in the wastes are also a concern, as they continue to kill personnel and breach secure areas. Unfortunately, it has become clear that our containment teams cannot neutralize all of them without a vast increase in munitions and soldiers. Alright. They're bringing an army. Longtown.515.8 Our initial tests exposing Talon 4's indigenous parasites to Phazon appear to be successful. Increases in strength, size, and aggressiveness are common in all test subjects as well as unforeseen evolutions like additional poison sacs within the abdomen and the appearance of a second ring of mandibles in several subjects. These creatures were chosen because of their resilience, and it appears possible that, given enough exposure to Phazon, they may one day be able to survive on any planet we transport them to. Our methods will have to be refined. We currently have a 100% extinction rate after the fourth infusion period, and most survivors of the third infusion stage are so violent and uncontrollable that they have to be euthanized. Even still, we, even still, we remain hopeful that further experimentation will result in success. These people are on a mission to create the ultimate Samus killing machine. Boom! Cordite! Casing appears weak. Elevate. What are we, oh, turrets. Into here. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, he moved away too quickly. Um, healed. You're done. Okay. 
kind of hear a few other ones thumping about, flying from the sky. Stunlock you. I'm in no way above spamming the enemy with my stun lock. Whoop, pick up some energy. What do we got going on here? Holographic spatial system. New pirate data. Log 10.401.7. Phase on mining is underway. Several several garrisons have been established and terraforming of the Chozo ruins is underway. Security systems are operational and science team continues to make progress in their biotech research. The Fendrana Drifts have proven to be an optimal location for research headquarters and soon it will be joined by a fully operational combat base and starport. If commands predictions are half true we shall rise to dom dominance in this sector within a deca cycle. Truly, these are glorious times. What the, oh yeah, those panels are retracting without any information. It's kind of weird. Activating holographic sequence. Boop. And up here. Turn on the holograph. Spin, spin, spin. I'm very glad that Retro didn't take the opportunity to make this into a quadruple concentric circle puzzle. And just instead said, close these things. We gotta go this way. Jump. Jump. Oop. Got pushed in a bit. Let's gander at this star system. This star system that defies all physics. Quarantine atmosphere is rife with mineralis, a sentient gaseous global exterminator virus. That sounds horrific. New research. Zebes. Planet's crust is primarily earthic ore, making it ideal for subterranean construction. A class 14 planet, Zebes is inhospitable to most bioforms. The world was considered unremarkable until it became a base for space pirate forces. Little self propaganda. Not bad. Orbine. Uninhabitable, savaged by nuclear dust storms. Twin tabula. Best known for twin fever, a disease caused by a viral strain of natives. A viral strain native to twin tabula. In the early stages of the disease, victims suffer from double vision. When the twin sight fades, the victim is near death. Ooh, critical research. Talon 4. Ecosystem studies indicate that Talon 4 was a biological paradise prior to the impact of an extraterrestrial object. What remains of the biosphere is slowly fading due to the exposure to Phazon. At current rate of decay, Talon 4 will be a barren Class 13 wasteland in approximately 25 years. What a shame. 
Such a beautiful planet. Destroyed by radiation. Whoop. And snag that up right quick. Missile acquired. Yay, super missiles. So these work. Oh, missed that platform. Uh, by the power beam's charge beam. You charge it up. And then you hit the missile button. And it hits with the power of five missiles. As well as using five missiles. Uh, the other beams will get similar things. Uh, the ice beam is very similar. The wave and eventual plasma beam are a little less similar. They're more like uh, electrocution beams. So <laughs> nice to be able to drop an enemy though in one shot. So you may be asking why are we going backwards? And the answer is simple. Uh, this cordite tank has what I want. Missile expansion. And up we go. And with that, assuming we don't get attacked right now, looks like that assumption was safe. Oh, we are gonna climb up a little bit higher to the what in the hell was oh that's just the power up to here to the save room and we will end this episode having gotten pretty far into the space pirate research base i'm young guru thank you for joining me and i will see you next time